Hey everyone, and welcome to my new project, Unreal World. As you can see, I've only had the one character that was a test character to make sure the recording worked. So, this is a brand new install, no new characters, or no old characters rather. And this is probably the first time I'm going to show the character creation process and probably the only time I'm going to do so. And I'm tripping over my words for some reason, I'm not sure why. That's kind of a problem now. The window isn't aligned correctly, is it? Eh, looks close enough-ish. Yeah. Okay. So, usual name because I'm not very creative. And these are the different cultures we can belong to. Each one has their own strengths and differences. Um, the Kamaliset, Kamaliset? I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say any of these, to be honest. Are good at hunting, fishing, tracking. They have a signature weapon. And yeah, they're hunters, basically. The Drakeela set? Drakeela set? Drakeela set? I think Drakeela set, because I think the A with the umlaut is an A uh, sound. I think. It's a Finnish game. Or, well, it's set in Finland and made by a Finnish person, so. I don't speak a word of Finnish. And I don't know how they pronounce their words, so I'm just guessing, basically. These guys are traders, they hang out in big towns, and I don't really know what their skill set is. I've never played one. I think they're good at like building and stuff like that. The Casella set are probably one of my favorites, mostly because they're not very violent. <laughs> And they're pretty bad fighters, which can be a real issue. My last two Casale set characters both died to aggressive, like, cultures, warriors, because they just couldn't fight very well. But they're good at fishing, hunting, farming. Their towns are really small, but you can usually find some decent stuff in them. The Remula set? Yeah. Again, fishing, they're good at trapping, mostly traders, and agriculture. I've never actually been to one of their villages, so I'm not sure what they have there. But I think they're also good builders. And you can just pause if you want to read these, I guess. If the quality is too low, I can go through it some other time. Um, the Sotarlo set. I don't remember very well, so... Oh, yeah. They have reasonably good villages and mostly trading tools, stuff like that, yeah. I don't know. They just seem like a lighter version of the <laughs> tequila set, basically. Islanders, they live on islands, they fish, they hunt sea animals and birds. It's kind of self-explanatory. Kyavulsat are farmers. They're not one of my favorites. I had one not long ago, but I don't know. I don't really like their skill sets that much. Just not that interested in them. They have pretty reasonable towns, though, if I remember correctly, and you can often buy seeds there. Then we have the three tribes, which are the northern peoples. Fishing, hunting, reindeer rearing, yeah. Owl tribe is probably the easiest tribe to start as because they're like very fast and your speed determines your dodge chance, which is kind of a big deal. But yeah, hunt, travel around, fish, usual stuff. And seal tribe, it's pretty much the same. Um, each one has different skill sets, different uh, like 
properties that they're more likely to have. For example, I think the Alachai people are prone to being lighter weight, smaller than some of the others and stuff like that. For this one, I'm going to be a Cassilian female, of course. And this last version actually got rid of my favorite of the profiles, which I'm really sad about. Um, there was one, it was a red-headed woman with like a leaf pattern in blue on her forehead, but it's gone now. So I guess this one this is the one I like best of them. <clears throat> now it says here that summer is the easiest to start in. I disagree. Because the more time you have until winter, the better, for the most part. So we're going spring. And now we get to reroll our stats. I'm not sure what I want exactly. Kind of want good endurance. Intelligence. I'm not sure what intelligence actually does, if anything, or will for that matter. It might be unused right now. The game is still in development. Oh, and it somewhat recently, I think last year or this year, became donation funded. So you can get it free and try it out and throw some money the developer's way, which you should because this game is great. Mm, not very strong. Good endurance. Okay, speed. I'll try again. My dexterity, low speed. Huh. Yeah, I think that's okay. Less endurance than I would like, but everything else is pretty good. <coughs> Here we have rituals. The first two rituals you get are random. Blood stanching incantation is really good if we get a bleeding wound that will stop it from bleeding immediately, or like within three or four minutes because it takes some time to actually perform the ritual. But that's really good to start with. And Hunter's request to catch a fox is... okay. Foxes are kind of a pain in the ass actually, but it's not bad. And here we get to pick our skills. So I definitely want fishing because that's kind of a crutch of mine. Um, in the early parts of the game, getting food is actually pretty tough, and fishing is one of the best ways to get extra food to actually survive on, I found. Um, I definitely want a weapon skill. Spear and bow are the ones I recommend the most. Bow for, well, bows, obviously. But Arrows are pretty easy to make, bows are pretty easy to come by, and they make hunting and stuff a lot easier. Whereas spears are good for javelins, which are very, very easy to make, very cheap. And you can throw them reasonably well. But other than that, axe is a good one because you'll pretty much always have an axe on you. And dagger for the same reason. But I'm gonna go with bow and only have the one weapon skill. Um, stealth would be pretty good, I think. I definitely want trapping, though, because trapping is... Uh, the way I play the game, trapping is probably the most important stat for me. Um, I like having herblore because... You come across a lot of plants, and if you don't have good herb lore, then you have no idea what they do, and I can't identify a lot of them on site from memory. So that's going to be useful, I think. And you can't actually increase your dodge. That's tied into your speed, which is why speed is so important. And carpentry goes a long way, actually. Carpentry is what you use to make, like, bows, weapons, that sort of thing. And this is probably where my fan's going to kick on. <clears throat> because this uses, like, that world gen process uses like 100% of my CPU. It's really intensive, apparently. So here's the world map. These are all the different cultures and these purple ones <clears throat> down here. The near Pizet. I think that's how you say it. I have no idea. You'd have to ask uh, Samurai, he's the developer. He actually speaks language. 
but the Nirpazet are very aggressive and they'll have camps all throughout the map and basically they attack anybody except themselves on site which is annoying so this little red square I don't know if you can actually see it in the video is our starting location and starting up near the Owl Tribe is odd. They have pretty lackluster villages. Usually it's easiest to start out down here by the uh, Trika set. Yeah, something like that. And the Crevula? I don't fucking know. I just said these and I can't remember how I said them. Because these two have really good villages. But I'm going to... I don't like to start inside cultural regions though, like inside these colored boxes you can start there, but I don't like to. I like to start out in the wilderness. It just seems like there's more wild animals around, which is kind of a big deal for me. Uh, that's a pretty good spot, but I think I can find a better one. Yeah, I'll start here. It's in between probably three of the better cultures for villages. Oh, what? Shit. Wrong button. Hopefully I can get back to somewhere around there. Come on. There. Okay. So, yeah, let's enter here. That'll be our starting point. Here we pick up a starting scenario. <coughs> the Unreal World scenario is sort of the default. You saw it in the middle of nowhere with very sort of minimal supplies and you'd have to start from scratch basically. The village, you start playing outside of a village usually of one of the local civilizations. If you're in a cultural region it will be one of theirs. If you're not in a cultural region I think it's usually a vagabond village which is pretty useful actually. That's probably one of the easier ones to start with. One way slave, you start inside a near visit camp and you have to fight your way out. There's no way I'm going to survive that right now. I'm not good enough at this game for that. Like I've managed to do it once and only once and that was a couple versions ago I think. Yeah, something like that. That was a while ago basically. Unfortunate hunting trip. You start out next to your dead father, he has a bunch of equipment on him, and you can actually eat human meat in this game if you're desperate. It has some repercussions, but it's better than starving to death. <clears throat> and of course you can get all of your father's hunting equipment, which is nice. So that one's not a bad one to start with. Lonely Cellar, you start with two unfinished buildings which is nice because you can actually tear down one of the unfinished buildings and use it to finish the other one. Like, not exactly. I think you'll usually have a couple missing walls and stuff if you do that, but it helps you get a home set up really early, which is nice. Hurt Helpless and Afraid is probably the hardest one because you start out with random wound wounds. And you can actually have them be like bleeding and they're completely untreated and you just need to make deal with whatever you have. And uh, when you're injured, you can't perform your skills optimally, obviously, I guess. But in a lot of roguelikes, it doesn't work like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, that one's really tough. Traps and trapping, you start with a bunch of tools that will help you start building traps immediately, which I really like. This is probably one of my favorite starting scenarios because trapping is my favorite sort of food source in the game. So that one is one that I like a lot. I want to be a fisherman. A lot of people consider this to be the easiest because you start out carrying like nets to do passive fishing and fishing is a really good early source of food. I've done it a few times. I I don't know. It's pretty easy, but it's... I don't think I would say it's the easiest. I think Abandoned Trap Fence is the easiest. And Abandoned Trap Fence, you find a trap fence in the middle of the woods. And whenever I've done it, there have been, like, gaps in the fence 
where you need to actually like fill in, otherwise the animals can just walk straight through without going over the traps. But this one I think is the easiest because an early trap fence is a great way to get bears, elk, stags, just huge animals that you can eat off of for weeks early on. And having it mostly built for you just saves you a lot of time and work that you would be, you know, half starved while you were doing early on. Abandoned camp, you find a shelter, firewood, and some like random useful equipment, I think. <clears throat> this is a pretty easy one. It's not as easy as the trap fence or fishing, but it gets you set up pretty quickly. And agriculture is sort of an investment scenario where you start out with seeds and after basically you need to go through and you need to prepare the soil, dig up the soil, like till the soil, plant the seeds, and then a couple months after that you'll have food. <laughs> so it can be hard to survive early on because you don't really start with anything helpful early on. It does start you with some peas and stuff, which are a good emergency food. It can keep you from starving if you'll if you're willing to eat into your seeds. But it's definitely an investment thing and you don't usually see the benefits of choosing this one until a couple months after when you've already sort of established yourself. But seeds are actually really hard to come by. So starting with this one is a good idea anyway. I think I'll start with the Hmm. I'll start with the village. It's reasonably easy. And here is a description of the scenario. <coughs> At the age of 16, you've left your home and village. During your childhood and adolescent years, you've learned the skills and ways of your people until you decide it was time for you to go search for a path of your own, whatever it might be. One day, a small party of men from your village were about to go out on a training journey to... Some faraway tribes. Sorry, I lost my place there. They promised to lead you to the village that was on their way, if you so wished. From there, it would be more safe for you to start living out on your own. And so it was. The party left you standing outside the village as they continued on their way. Houses in the village seemed very cozy after the long trip, but about the people you weren't too sure. Huh. You knew that you hadn't come here just to settle down again, but it would probably be a good idea to see what the village had to offer before rushing ahead. Starting from the village provides you a safe way to start playing. You may equip your character carefully before going out into the wilderness and have a safe place to return to if you face setbacks or dangers in your journey. So, yeah, it's a relatively easy start. Here we get to choose a game course. Basically, these are like little missions that you can accomplish, and you get certain rewards for doing them. I don't remember the rewards for advanced, advanced adventures that well, but for living in the wild, if you complete it, you'll get... Early on, you get a free pike, you get a fishing rod, you get some points in tracking skill, you get... what? And I think there's a couple other things I can't remember right now. And if you complete either of them, they give you the option to get three free skill points, or you can get new rituals. So just so I have some sort of direction for the project, I'm going to do the Living in the Wild one for now. If we finish it, we can actually switch to the advanced one. And here it just says that this is the story so we can jump right in. Here we are, there's our village. It's our current task. We need to find water. Water is essential, clearly explode surroundings until you find a source of fresh water and then take a drink, basically. So where exactly are we? F6 opens the map, C puts the um, civilization regions on it for you. So, we're pretty much exactly where we started. And it's going to be a little odd for me. Normally I play this game full screen, so... 
Everything's a bit smaller than I'm used to. I'm just exploring, getting some of the map. One thing I really like, this wasn't in earlier versions, I don't think, but your elevation actually matters for how far you can see. Like right now I'm standing on this mountain tile, so I can actually see a pretty good distance. And that actually comes in handy really often. And there's a bear. Awesome. Bears are a great source of food if you can kill one. So let's settle down here, I think. Not too far from the village. And yes, I completed the water task, I know. I already did that. The, a closer look is just zoom in. So I guess I haven't really explained what this game is. That's just pick up an item. But basically, it's a survival sim in Iron Age Finland, sort of. Now, there are a few things that are kind of out of place for that setting, I think, but it's pretty good for the most part. I really like it. So, first priority right now is setting up a shelter. To do that, you need slender tree trunks and spruce twigs. So, there I just cut a bunch of spruce twigs, or 77, that's well more than I actually need. It's like a lot more than I actually need. And, oh, I didn't actually look at what items I have. Ooh, I don't have an axe, that's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have to make one then. But I have a really low quality knife, a low quality club, and you start out with some food and some clothes. Okay. Let me see what my... Yeah, my arms are completely unprotected from the cold. So, that could be a problem. Hmm. Oh well. Well, first things first, gotta make a little house. Or a shelter, rather. To do that, we need to cut down that tree and... drag over here, and then it's what? M, B, S, I think. Yes. This game suffers from sort of the same problem that Dwarf Fortress does, in that the interface is not ideal. And yeah, while it's doing stuff like this, my fan is going to kick on because, as you can see here, it uses a lot of my CPU. There's nothing I can do about that. It's just gonna happen. And finally, after 10 hours, we're done. So I'm gonna eat a smoked bear cut, or dried bear cut, and go to sleep. Woke up from the cold, okay. Push that down, push that up there. I guess we should start a fire. That'll keep us warm. See, now we're sweaty. I think I heard something rustle. Get back on our feet. Okay, so we have a little shack for ourselves. What we need now is a food source. And for that, I'm gonna have to go out here. And Damn it. Early on, I'll probably be starving a lot. I try to stretch out my food a lot doing that, and yeah. Wow, there's nothing out here. Okay, I need some trees around. Pine mire, that should do. need rocks too, and there are none. Okay, so this spot's not going to work, and I'm not nearly capable of dealing with that bear right now. So 
I think here is our shack. It's weird. It should be on the map. Okay. No, it's that corner. So... I think I'll go into the woods over here. There should be stuff here that I can use. And it takes a little while to load the maps. Okay, there's a rock over there, or a stone rather. It's a small distinction, but it matters. Yes, yes, I can pick things up. I can make a fire too, I've already done that. So I need to find a couple more stones and set up some traps, which is what I'm doing here because a couple light lever traps early on are probably the only way in hell I'm going to survive. Especially with such shoddy equipment. <laughs> I don't have a good weapon, I don't have like anything really. It's a little lame. It seems like a nice spot to set up the traps, so. So I'll eat one of my bear cuts. and start working on chopping down some of these light trees. Yeah, sorry if you can hear my fan, it's getting kind of loud here. I think I mentioned this in the last video of Crawl that I was having that issue in my test recording too. So to make traps, open the trap menu, light lever trap, set it there. I need branches. Okay. I forgot about that. I'm gonna wait a little bit because I'm too fatigued, and if you get fatigued, then your quality of your work suffers and your ability to actually do anything at all suffers pretty badly. Okay, that should be enough for a while. Alt R, one left. I have stones in my inventory. And the way traps work in this game is kind of odd from what I hear. Apparently having traps in a map will spawn animals in that like general location. Right, they can't be more than one tile away, your materials. So just by placing traps here I've increased the spawn rate of animals in this region. Which I always found kind of an odd thing. You can also bait traps, but these small traps are pretty tiny. <clears throat> and the animals we're going to get are probably not going to be worth the bait that we use for them in a lot of cases. Which is kind of sad, but, you know, it's better than starving. I don't have stones. But yeah, setting up traps in a little fence like that is nice. Because it means the animals can't really walk through that area without getting trapped. Unless I can break out of the trap, which does sometimes happen, I think. Especially if like a larger animal walks through the trap, it will trigger it, but it won't get stuck. So if that bear from earlier wanders all the way down here for whatever reason, then that trap is not going to do anything to it. But light lever traps are small, they're easy to make. You don't get a lot of food from them, which is a problem. Especially early on, it's a problem, but... It's... Probably the easiest thing I can do right now to not starve to death. If I can remember where I put them. It's up here somewhere. Yeah, it's up in this little lane. So it's the left or the right? To the right, apparently. There they are. Alright, 
and one more in that corner. That'll probably be enough for right now. So, yeah, it's not much. I don't have the stones to do any more right now, though. So, I'll leave that and try my luck. That bear is really tempting. Bears provide you enough food to last probably a month if you can eat all of it. But I don't have any way to preserve food right now. So it's probably going to be mostly wasted if I kill it right now. I could get probably 30 cuts out of it and actually make use of them. No, I don't want to go into the water. I do need a drink, though. Like in real life, you can survive a little while without food, but you can't survive very long without water. Okay, so I need an axe. I need rope for an axe, though. Shit. Okay. For rope, I need to either find rope or make it. And, huh. I don't have enough material from clothing that I can actually make it right now, I don't think. So that sucks. Need a haircut because we're getting low on food, or on hunger, rather. And go to sleep, I guess. Need to restart the fire first. And yeah, making a fire like that does fail pretty often if your survival skill isn't very high. But it has to be done. Yes, I made a fire. I did that a little while ago, game. And I think this gives us a free pike, which is really nice of it. So yeah, this is the cooking. Basically, to cook the pike, you need a fire. Then I don't have the materials to smoke it or anything, so I'll roast it. And wait. and. Now it should be done. Just about. Temple work I'll worry about in a bit. There. Roasted pike is three pounds, so it will actually last quite a while. Right, so I'm gonna try to fish. It won't go so well because Well, I'm fishing with a club. And if you've ever tried to do that in real life, you probably know that it doesn't work out so well. And it's no different here. <laughs> Basically, I'm just waiting for anything to wander by to smack into the top of the head. But I'm gonna try it a couple times, see if I can't get anything, because I need the food. And it passes time while I'm waiting for something to fall into my traps. And yeah, again, my fan is kicking on. Sorry if you can hear it. Hope not, but it's built into the computer along with my mic. So, not much I can do about it. And yeah, malnourished is the last stage before we actually start starving to death. So what I'm going to do is go over to where my traps are, which is over here, and perform that ritual to catch a fox. What this should do is spawn a fox in the area. Ooh, a stag. I don't think I can kill it, but... Ooh, it's knocked out, and it ran away. Heading west. 
So this is the tracking skill. It leaves these little like footprints that you can chase after. And that is basically exactly what I'm doing because I need food. And I don't have a ranged weapon to be able to actually kill this thing from range, so the only way I'm going to actually get it is through persistence hunting. Okay, I see what I want. Through persistence hunting, which is basically following it until it passes out. Shit, where'd you go now? Head west, so did it double back? guess so. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty easy to lose the trails. Especially in the woods like this. There it is. It's really easy to sort of get turned around. And the animals like to double back on themselves a lot, which is obnoxious. I'm not sure if I'm following the right trail even anymore because I think it crossed over its own path. Just to say it went in a big circle and all of the tracks are still pretty fresh. So it's hard to tell which one is the most fresh. Still heading southeast at this point. There. Um, head southwest from here. Hmm. There. Okay. Yeah, this is basically just a lot of me <laughs> walking around. Uh, how are you looking? Escaping small stag. Yeah, so it's not breathless yet, so there's no way I'm going to catch up to it. It's faster than I am. By a fair margin. Footprints, where are you? Shit. So I was heading southeast. Well, the trail picks up somewhere around here, it must. Huh. Is that it? Heading east. Yeah, I think this is where it went. Yeah, sounds like it. And by sounds like it, I mean my character actually heard something in this general direction. Didn't get that lucky. I thought I was going to run into the open mire. Did I just see it? I thought I did. Is there a thing of water there? I thought I saw something blue. It's weird. So I'm not sure where it went from here. It was heading south, but... Looks like it stopped going this way. Is it heading up here then? Southeast. Humorous and mix, that means he stepped on that tile multiple times going in different directions. Okay, need to eat because I'm starving. This video feels like it's going a bit long. Okay, we're into the open now, so it shouldn't be too hard to follow it. 
Unless it goes straight back into the woods like this. What a jerk. I just want to murder you and eat your tasty elk. Stag meats. Stag. Yeah, stag. Kind of funny, in real life I'm a vegetarian and I would never eat a stag. Or anything else for that matter. Any other animal for that matter, rather. Hmm. I think that was the trail I was following a couple minutes ago. So it must be around here. I think I saw something. This is heading north. Looks like it circled back at some point though. Hmm. Sounds coming from south. Ah, found it. Hmm, where did you go from here? Southwest? Hmm. Doesn't look like he went southwest. I don't know. Where's the trail pick back up? It's weird. Did he change direction completely? They do that sometimes. Those completely change their mind about where they were going. That goes southeast, which leads to here, which says he was heading southwest. But I don't see anything to the west, I don't see anything to the south. Or anywhere in between. Hmm. Ah, there. Found you. East. Track is hanging south. Go around that little grove there. Sound is coming from down here. We're actually down near where my traps are then. <sighs> Somewhat doubt he would get caught in one of these little traps. He can't even walk through them anyway. That goes to show how far I've been chasing this one though. And I can't really give up now. Mostly because I don't have the food to give up. Hmm. Did that thing again where the trail stops. It's gotta pick up again somewhere though. Always does. Not always actually. If your tracking skill is bad, you can lose them really easily. It's kind of annoying. Ah, there we go. Thanks, Al. Um, still going south? Yeah. What kind of state are you in? Uh, still not breathless. Where'd it go? Yeah, it was heading this way. Basically the goal is to just keep going until it runs out of breath and it can't run anymore. Then we're going to club it over the head. I know that sounds kind of cruel and again, vegetarian in real life, I wouldn't ever do this, but video game, it's just, you know, pixels and code. 
Pixels and Co, who have apparently outsmarted me, I might add. Where the fuck did this trail go? Must have doubled back at some point. Glad I'm missing it. East. Okay. So I was going in the wrong direction. Yeah, okay. Well, that sucks because he got a good lead on me from that, but I think he's trying to sleep now. So if I can keep catching up to him and waking him up, he should be in good shape. I don't keep losing this fucking trail. What the hell? Just heard him, but I can't remember where I heard him from. I thought it was south. Apparently not. And yeah, if you thought the clicking was bad in the other games, it's going to be worse in here because of the way the movement works. You need to change your heading and then press forward to actually move in that heading. Okay, I can hear him up ahead. I'm going to try to sneak. Failed to sneak unnoticed, which means he probably ran. My stealth isn't that great. Northwest from here. Still northwest, yep. And then this trail goes cold again. So presumably he turned around somewhere. Yep. He's just heading west. Or north. It's probably only heading northwest to get around the trees then. Yeah, they don't change their direction too sharply most of the time, especially when they're running scared. Like this one is. Northeast. Okay, more north than east. But they do have to, you know turn to get around trees and stuff, which can cause some misleading tracks. Because I say the direction I think that the animal was facing when they ran through that square. Not their just general bearing overall. Are we finally into the open? Because I actually would rather prefer that we chase him into the open. And looks like he turned back towards the woods. Yeah. <sighs> yep, yeah, he's back in the woods, and thus so are we. These are quite fresh, not very fresh. Hope I'm following the right trail. Because it looks like he might have been here before. And this would be a really big circle. I'm not sure if quite fresh is as fresh or less fresh than very fresh, which is kind of a problem. I should probably figure that out at some point, but I can't remember right now. Yeah, this looks familiar. Shit, did I lose him? Oh, he's close. I can't zoom out.
Hmm. Not seeing more tracks though. There's none in this direction. Hmm. I think south. Southwest. Hmm. I don't know. It's not too far away. It can't be. If you were far away, I, wouldn't, I would be able to zoom out and look for him on the overworld map again. See where he ended up. But I can't. Unless squirrels are in the area. Hair. Shit, that could be throwing me off then. Okay, where is that big circle of tracks? Maybe I just took the wrong ones. Those are an hour old. Okay. Hour old. Quite fresh, numerous and mixed. Our old. Our old, heading northwest. sound in this general direction, but yeah, those are our old again. tracks. I don't see them. So he's headed west, or at least he was. I don't see his tracks though. And without tracks I can't follow him. There. Oh, don't step in the water. Could do with a drink, though. Alright. So we have, like, berry bushes. <sighs> Hopefully he's getting worn down. He had some time to take a rest, I think, which is a problem. Because the more rest he gets, the harder it will be for me to follow him. And more importantly, the harder it will be for me to exhaust him. Or her, I don't actually know. I think stag means it's a boy, alright? I think so. This video is going to be really long, actually. Um, one sec. Yeah, okay, I've got some disk space still. I don't really want to cut it in the middle of a chase. But these chases do take a very long time. As you can plainly see.
Alright, down here. Um, there. Turn him down this way. If I stop recording, I can't actually pick up immediately because I would have to encode it and such. Which is a problem. This game does have a pretty slow pace though. So I was kind of expecting early episodes to go long. I haven't even seen him in a while. Do you switch heading? No, that's northeast. My button. Northeast. Ah, I see. And east, okay. Hmm. Oh, let's see this trail again. Alright, should be this way then. Northeast. And he's out in the open again. Or at least he was briefly. <sighs> yeah, it looks like he went back into the woods. Which, I mean, is a good idea on his part, but it's really annoying for me. These are very fresh, right? No, these are our old, which means I'm following the wrong trail. I heard something over here. But, okay, these are very fresh. Very fresh going northeast, it's running in circles now. Did he run in a circle and just lose me that way? are very fresh heading northwest. Very fresh heading southwest. Okay. So it looks like he changed directions on me again. And he was heading south-ish. So he was heading east, but I saw tracks over here. Those are our old. And these are very fresh heading east, so probably east. I don't see any tracks over here though. Hmm. Well, 
Well, it's not nearby, so I can... It's a rabbit. Don't really care about the rabbit. Yeah, I can't find it. Should be able to see it on the overworld map if it's nearby. I don't think I don't think they despawn. Hmm. Yeah, I think I lost it. Damn. Ran around in circles too much and I lost him. Oh. That sucks. Yeah, I guess we should get back to the camp. That's disappointing. It happens though. Part of the game. I'm running out of food. We might actually die here. I'm too tired to do anything. Hunger wakes me. Desperately hungry. Where is that village? Southwest. Okay. I don't even know if they have any food in here, but it's worth looking. Coda. Uh, Codas are basically little tents. So it looks like they don't even have any shops in this one. That's what it's looking like, yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, that's not good for me. Hmm. No. 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 Okay. What about you? Do you have anything to trade? No. 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 Okay. So I can't really afford much of anything right now. I was hoping they might have, like, food or something. Because often they do have food to trade, but apparently not here. Alright, well. Hopefully the traps will get something. In the meantime, I'm gonna try my luck at fishing again. It's probably not gonna work because it almost never works when you're using a club. Hmm. But I got lucky. Good. All right. Well, I'm gonna call it here. See you next time, guys. Bye.